Barney in Concert is very impressive. This was released in 1991 and it features the Backyard Gang. It's directed by Jim Rowley and it has an amazing song selection. And it also introduces Baby Bop. And I have to say, I got really emotional. I got really emotional when I watched some of the other Barney concerts that were released around the time of Barney and Friends. And this one was was no different. It's just so wonderful to see these young children in the audience interacting, smiling, having a great time, and seeing their parents singing along. There's one point when they sing I Love You and there's this... It, it cuts very briefly to a, a father, I, presumably a father, uh, singing along with his child. And it just, it melted my heart. And the whole thing is really beautiful. So I will mention a couple of things that I really enjoyed about this. But I want to praise the children as well, because their performances were absolutely amazing. It's one thing to film TV show episodes where you're not necessarily in front of thousands of people. You have the chance to stop and start if you forget your lines or whatever. But to be that young and to perform in front of an audience of that size, it's very impressive. I don't know how big the audience was, but it was filmed at the Majestic Theatre in Dallas, Texas. And it looks like a, a pretty large space. There were a lot, a lot of children in that audience. And the children uh, on stage are Michael, Amy, Lucy, Tina, Adam and Derek. And they did an amazing, amazing job. The choreography is fantastic. There's some audience participation. And it's so lovely to see the children interacting and having fun. And it cuts to the audience a really good amount, which helps to create this really brilliant atmosphere, can help young viewers watching it to feel like they're one of the children and, and really immerse themselves in that kind of environment. And particularly seeing the, the young children clutching their Barney toys was adorable. I had a I had a Barney. I had a Barney toy and uh, I loved it a lot. The staging is brilliant. The set designs are relatively minimal, but always visually engaging. There's usually something on screen to look at for each song, and I will give some examples. So I will now go very quickly through the different songs and share some thoughts uh, uh, as we go along. And it starts off with Everyone is Special. Then we have the Backyard Gang rap, and we are Barney in the Backyard Gang, which was a, a really great way to introduce the children to the audience. Then we have Down on Grandpa's Farm, and some of the characters are dressed up in animal costumes, visually really engaging, really great song. And then the Backyard Gang are wearing um, different costumes. They don't have too many costume changes, but they have a couple. Um, indeed, they have one for the Noble Duke of York. And then we have Pop Goes the Weasel. And very impressively, we have the Alphabet Song, sung in English. But we also have some children brought up on stage who had obviously been selected beforehand to sing the Alphabet Song in Hebrew and also in French. And I hadn't expected that. And I thought that was a really nice way to be a little bit more inclusive and really fascinating as well to hear those songs sung in different languages. We then have Where is Thumpkin? I think Lucy did an amazing uh, job with that one. And Sally the Camel, that one had some great audience interaction. There were some dance moves that the young audience members and older audience members were encouraged to do. And it was just absolutely delightful to see we also have Mr. Knickerbocker, which helps to introduce Baby Bop. And then we have Baby Bop's song and Baby Bop's street dance. And as an introduction to Baby Bop, it was pretty good. Also, those young children in the audience would have been the very first children to ever see Baby Bop, I'm assuming, because obviously there would have been some time between this and the VHS release. And that must be a pretty special thing. I'd love to know if anybody was in the audience of this and if they can actually remember it because a lot of them are very very young children three four there were there were even a couple of babies who I'm assuming definitely can't remember it but I'd love to know if anybody could actually remember that because that's a pretty special thing we then have some other great songs such as itty bitty spider bubble bubble bath hurry hurry drive the fire truck which had the fire truck on the stage the the, the set design for that was really awesome then we have Down by the Station and the delightful George M. Cohen song, You're a Grand Old Flag, which had some fabulous costumes. And then, of course, we end with I Love You. And I was sobbing by that point because it's just something I've mentioned before. Why The reason I'm watching Barney 
is because of the nostalgia and to see how educational it is. And I grew up watching a lot of Barney. So I get really emotional when I think of how much this show affected me and how much it impacted my childhood and presumably how much it taught me. And to see to see them putting together something so well executed as Barney in concert and to see all of these children bonding with their parents over this wonderful experience it just it it, it got me it, it got me it made me very emotional very very impressed with this and I think being in the audience as a child would have been great but I think being there as an adult seeing all of those delightful children and with a child of your own would have been an amazing experience. I'd love to know if anybody can remember it. I don't remember ever seeing it. I don't. I definitely didn't have the VHS. I don't think I ever saw it on TV or anything. But certainly watching it now uh, as a fully grown adult, Barney in concert is something that I, I really thoroughly enjoyed. I have nothing but praise for it. It's an absolute delight.